Peace, man. I, I just wanted to take some time to give some insight on my two cents about this whole Ice Cube thing. Look at how easily the media can turn us against, us, some of us against, people who are trying to advocate for our benefit. Like, it's clear that you can tell that Trump, the Trump administration put a spin on the meeting that they had with, with Ice Cube to try to make it appear like he wholeheartedly endorsed them. The brother has never said that. He said that, one, he met with both camps, and then basically the Biden people put him in a friend zone. Like, we'll talk to you after we win. Well, we don't know if you're going to win, no. Who, we, let's, need, let's talk now so if you agree to this, we can hold you accountable. And then he met with the Trump people, and this is not an endorsement of Trump, because some people, when they hear you speaking, if you're not team Biden, oh, you 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 want to keep Trump in the office. Like, calm down. As black folks, we are too emotional. And that's one of the reasons we keep being treated like prostitutes. But the man met with the Trump administration, and then after hearing his black agenda, they later made some changes. Isn't that what we want? That doesn't mean that we need to vote for him. But if, if now it's a part of their agenda, and let's say Trump get elected, then we can hold them accountable and say, wait a minute, you said this was part of your agenda as it relates to black people. But it takes the media. If you're looking at all of these headlines, they will make you think that Ice Cube straight up endorsed Donald Trump. And look how easily we are at turning against those who are putting their life, their career on the line over what the media says wake up and and think read critical thinking we're just as the honorable minister lords farrakhan said we're like babies with a candy in our hand and with a baby who has candy or a toy in their hand it's so easily to manipulate them to get what's in their hand and that is what is happening as it relates to this whole political thing Every year, is the, every four years is the same thing, if you look at it. When Bush Jr. was in office, they were making him seem, people were calling him the devil, 666. It's every year. And I'll say this, and it may make up some people mad. Let's say if there was some other person that was, quote, unquote, 10 times worse than Donald Trump, but he was a Republican, Donald Trump was a, was a, was a Democrat. Some of you all will still be saying, well, we got to vote, even though we don't like Trump. He's, he's better than this dude over here who's this Republican. Like some of you all are afraid to say, I'm not going to keep playing this game, keep disrespecting the sacrifice of our ancestors. Yeah, our ancestors died for the right to vote, but they died for the right to self-sufficiency. They died for the right to defend themselves. They died for the right of coming together and economically pooling our resources. They died also for the right of having our own. So don't just keep saying that. I don't think our ancestors will be in support of us just willy-nilly, look at that name, just throwing our vote just because we keep getting put in this position of the lesser of two evils. Evils, excuse me. So stop throwing our people under the bus because of what the media says. Peace.